discuss is direct and inverse variation. What I'm going to discuss is direct variation. The definition of direct variation is when two variable quantities have a constant ratio. The formula is y equals kx. k, the variable k is a number that is a constant of variation. y varies directly as x. So here's the graph of the direct variation. And remember that direct variation is always a linear function. The example that we have for direct variation is suppose y varies directly as x. y equals 6. When x equals 2, what is k? Catherine, would you answer this question? Sure. <laughs> so you said you start off with the formula first, right? Mm hmm. Can you explain your answer? I'm not done yet. No, but explain your process going through it. Okay, no. so we start off with the formula first, and then since y equals 6 and x equals 2, I'm going to plug in 6 for y, and then we don't know what k is, so we leave that like that as a variable, and then x equals 2, so we substitute, substitute in 2 for x, and then to get k, we have to isolate the variable, we divide both sides by 2. K is 3. Okay, so as we said in the problem, K was 3. So K is basically M from slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form is MX plus B. M it turns to K in terms of direct variation. So we will take 3 to the graph. So rise over one run will be three over one because the whole number three will have an invisible um run of one so we start from the origin and then we move three units up one two three and then since it has a run of the number one we go over one unit so then we keep on repeating the same process one two three over one one two three over one, one, two, three, over one. And then, and that's how you graph a direct variation. Okay, this is inverse variation. The definition of inverse variation is the values of the two variables change in the opposite manner as one value increases, the other decreases. The formula for inverse variation is y equals k over s or xy equals k. This is the graph for inverse variation. This is asymptotic and the graph is a hyperbola. It avoids the origin. And this is the example, if y varies inversely with x, and y equals 35 when x equals 10, find y. With x, and y equals 35 when x equals 10, find y when x equals 5. The formula is y equals k over x. y is equal to 35. 35 equals k over x. Explain your We don't know what k is, so we leave k. And x is equal to 10. And when you cross multiply, you get k equals 350. Y equals 350 over x. And x is equal to 5. She was showing what? Y equals 350 over 5. And then when you divide 350 into 5, you'll get 70. So why is equal to tables. We're ready to plot the points on the graph. Our first point is at negative 5, negative 70. So you go back, negative 5, and down to negative 70. The next point is at negative 2, negative 175. So you go back to, down to 175. Right here. The next one is at negative 1, negative 350. So you go back 1 and down to 350. Next point is at 1, 350. So you go over 1, up to 350. 
And the next one is at 2, 175. So you go over to up 175. And the last one is at 570. So you go over 5 and up 2, 4, 6, 70. Then you connect the dots. And that's the graph for inverse variation. Don't you talk to me? I ain't dissing on.